What's up, my dudes? One Step here. And yes, as you can see here, I completed all of Ghostface's combo challenges in Mortal Kombat 1. And today I'm going to be redoing them and speaking my mind as I do so to help you understand how I did it. And hopefully in doing so, giving you some tips and tricks along the way to help you do them and just have a blast redoing them because some of them are uh, pretty tricky. So subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's get into these challenges. As we get into the combos, go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is going to be the universal language that we're using so that everybody who's watching can understand what I'm saying. All right, now that you know the language, here's the very first combo we got four four and then down forward three and then pressing one because down forward three is the running move and during this we can press one or we can press two then go four four down forward three and then immediately press one and that'll be one single combo four four down four three then one there we go if you didn't already know yeah you can cancel strings into your run into another move it's pretty cool now my biggest piece of advice when doing combo challenges like this is just break it up into pieces if you have no idea what you're doing or it looks pretty daunting this is only four strings moves right here but still we know we're gonna jump and do two two in the air land four four and then our command grab enhance back down forward one if you do it fast enough and then enhance it'll look like this so all we gotta do is uh, do the first half first, you know, two, two, grab, jump, two, two, and then before they land, do four, four, and hands grab. Okay, so we got the two halves split up. We've done them both. Let's put them together, the full combo like this. Take your time with it. The inputs aren't as fast as you might think. Basically, just take it one step at a time or one combo string at a time. All right, same thing. Let's just break it up into pieces. Let's go ahead and do the four, two, one. We can do that. Then we do down, back, three, enhance. Oh, because that'll connect. Then we can continue the combo pressing one, two, down, forward, four, and then immediately press one. Oh, so you can dive and then press one, and it looks like it'll connect in the combo. So let's go ahead and just do the first two things then. That connects. Go one, two, dive, and then press one. Okay, now let's go ahead and add the one, two combo string, one, two. And all we gotta do from there is dive and press one. We got this. Or should I say, you got this. For one, two, down back three enhance, one, two, down four, four, one. Okay, see what I'm saying? You just gotta break it up into pieces and then put those pieces together like a puzzle. And it's just cake from there. One of our very first combo challenges that has the uppercut cancel mechanic. Interesting, so for those that don't know, if you punish an uppercut or if you punish with an uppercut, you can press up and R1 at the same time to fly in the air and you'll be doing an uppercut cancel combo so we gotta go in the air do two two land do back three to restand them and then command grab okay let's do the two 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 part two two okay land back three and then command grab okay let's try it again okay we did the back three we are uh, a little bit off there we're in the opposite side i think it's fine try again two two Command grab, okay. So it doesn't matter what side you're on, as long as you land, do back three, and then just the command grab, which we've done a move into the command grab with previous combo strings, so you should feel pretty familiar with that concept. The only hard part about that combo string is the uppercut cancel mechanic. If you're not really used to it, that can take some time to understand. It's just punishing anything with an uppercut and then pressing up and R1 at the same time. I like to do upward diagonally up. That way I'm not jumping just straight up. And then just do two, two in the air, land back three, command grab. All right. All right, now we have a jumping in combo string. So we're gonna jump in with one and then two, two, back cameo now this one's using kano's uh knife throw and you're doing a two two down back four now usually that does not connect as a true combo string however that gap that's there that's where kano's knives will come into play thus continuing the combo so it's very fast i'll tell you what you after really labbing this out you do two two back cameo down back four really fast so without jumping in you can just do it anyway so if you try it and see you know if the numbers pop up just try it on the ground so right there, we got the five hits. That is the true combo. So it's two, two, back cameo, down, back four. There we go. And you want Ghostface to hit them back towards you. So that way you can finish it with a four, four cameo. So we can do that all. Now all we gotta do is add the jump in one. So let's just try that. There we go, all together. That one took me a minute when I first started it just because the whole back cameo into down back four is a bit tricky. But again, all you need to do is just do it very fast. I'm talking like two, two, back cameo, down back four. I'm talking like two, two, back cameo, down back four. It might take some finagling, but uh, you got this. For those that don't know, while you're in Ghostface's uh, prone move, you can press uh, two and, and hold R1. You use two meters, but now you get basically a free combo because they're trapped there. So that's all this is doing. Then you're just jumping in like we did before. Two, two, grab, jumping up and do two, two, back three and then down four three enhancing it uh, and then doing two for the overhead so if you want to do that last part again to break it up into pieces we've done that middle part quite often we've done two two grab jump two two is totally fine but once they land or you know when you land you do back three and then do down four three enhance and press two 
So that last part will look like this. We just gotta put it all together. We just gotta do the first part, you'll dive and then uh, press the two meters, jump in. Up to two. There we go. Now, the only note I have with this one is while you're on the ground, you press uh, two and R1. You don't really just press two and R1. As you see there, it says hold two and R1. People forget that quite a bit. So you, while you're prone, you press two and R1 together, then hold it. It'll actually do the two meters there for the trap. Besides that, jump in, grab, jump, do another aerial combo string, back through and you land. Down four, three, enhance, press two immediately, and you got this. All right, now this one took me a minute. So let me help you understand how I put all these together. Let's do the first half just so we know kind of what's going on. You jump in with the four. While they're in the air, you're going to keep them in the air with two, two. Let them fall again. But before they fall back, you're going to restand them and down back three, and you're doing this move. Now, that's not really a problem. However, as you see there, we're holding L2 during that transition to go into the assassin version of Ghostface. So this right here, that first even four or five moves can take a minute. Because you gotta jump in, two, two, back three, and see even that time it can be a bit hard. Basically you can do four in the air, then immediately two, two, back three, and then enhance that down back three. Now, what do we do once we are switched? Because we gotta, we gotta make sure we can put these two pieces together, right? So let's just do down back three, enhancing and switching. Okay, we switched. That's getting that down is a key in of itself. So let's add the back three. The back three down, enhance it, switch. Okay, now we got that part down. Let's put this together piece by piece. Do it again. Once we're switched, we're back three, down forward one, hold the one, press R1, keep holding one, dash forward, two, two, grab. Oh, and then jump. Oh my gosh. So I'm not joking when I say this is a bitch key because you do down four to one when you're the assassin, right? So let's go to the assassin, okay? Uh, you're gonna do down four to one, hold the one, hold the knife, press R1 to enhance it while still holding one, dash forward, two, two, grab. You're holding one the entire time you're doing that sequence. But you start it with back three, down four to one, hold the one, immediately press R1 to enhance it while still holding one, then you dash forward again, you let go of one so that we can do the two, two, grab combo. Okay, so once you get that half down, jumping, pressing four, and then uh, doing down four to one in the air is not, not too hard. So let's just do this first half where we switch and then do back three. Let's go to that point at least. Back three. Okay, so we did all of that. Perfect. You do back three into down four to one, holding it. Press R1 while still holding one. Then while still holding one again, you dash forward into your two, two grab combo. Let's uh, let, let's at least get down the uh, down four to one R1 toss. Let's at least do that. Okay, well, I pressed it twice by accident, but at least we got the down four to one into the R1 uh, delayed knife toss, meter burn toss. Now let's just do that once, dash forward while still holding one, and then do our two, two grab combo. From there, I feel like it's pretty cake. So can we put it all together now? Oh, let's try it. If you keep holding R1, you will do the knife toss twice. You wanna just press it, not hold it. You wanna hold one, not R1. Just a quick tip for you. Oh man, getting that canceled, that, that's the hardest, probably, that's probably one of the hardest combo challenges Ghostface actually has, is because you're canceling into Assassin, doing back three into your projectile, but you're not doing the projectile yet, you enhance that by pressing R1 while you're still holding one the entire time, letting go of R1 because you just press it, and then dashing forward into another combo string. That, that can take some time, so don't let, it deter, don't let that one deter you. That's a bit hard for sure. Keep going on that one. That one is just a bit daunting, but with some time, you'll get it down. Now, this one looks like a lot too, but at least we're not doing any crazy cancels from what I can tell. We're doing back cameo for the knives. So let's just go ahead and see what we're up against. Okay, let's just start it off. Down back three, uh, hold L1, we're changing. Oh, we're changing into the uh, defender, I think it is. Oh, the enforcer, we're changing to the enforcer. So let's just do that part, right? Hold it and then four, four, down forward, forward, hats. Oh, we're kicking them in the air, doing two, two in the air, immediately going into Kano's back cameo knife toss. Looks like we're, uh, okay, so the knives are gonna hold them up in the air. We're gonna jump again and do two, two again in the air. They're gonna land, we do back three, down back three in hats. Four, two, one, fatal blow. Oh, okay, so this one, let's just do all the way to the first aerial two, two bouncing. Four, four, down back four, hats, two, two. Okay, so we got that far. So it looks like I was right. Kano's knives will keep them afloat 
you have time to jump again and do two two again in the air let's get to that point at least change four four down four four enhance jump the two two back cameo oh you gotta call kano even sooner Oh, so if we, I just jump on instinct. <laughs> so it looks like Kano's knives will hold them up a little bit longer. You do have time to jump and press 2-2 uh, two, two again in the air. But damn, you gotta be fast on that. And then they, you still have time uh, before they land to do back three to restand them into the last half of your combo. Before they land, let's make sure we can do that last half. Back three into uh, down back three enhance. Two, one, fatal blow. So let's at least do that last half for ourselves, just for funsies. Okay, uh, so we can do that last half. We just gotta do the this whole knife jumping sequence first. All right, let's try it. Oh my gosh, that is... Wait, what didn't count? What didn't count? We didn't do... I guess I didn't do uh, back three first, so we gotta redo that. All right, but we, we know we can do it now. We know we can do it now. Holy cow, that one. The timing on Kano's knives, that's just uh, it's literally as fast as you might think. You're jumping 2 2 back cameo. That way you can land and re jump Kano's knives, keep them afloat. You're able to jump again, do 2 2 again, and then do your normal combo ender where you do back three and then enhance down back three, finish it off with the four uh, 2 1 into Fatal Blow. I still think the previous one with all those cats was a bit harder. This one does take some time though. But man, we're seeing some really cool benefits with uh, Kano Ghostface. That's pretty cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on the last combo stream where, of course, we are using Shijinko versus is homelander it looks like so again this one seems uh pretty we don't have as many moves as the previous combo strings break it up uh one two four to cameo up cameo so we're doing the four to cameo up cameo for the stagger back three for the restand and then back cameo down back cameo so we got the lasers and then we're just uh doing four two one for that reach and then simply ending with uh down four three one ah, okay so let's do that last half real quick uh, just uh back cameo this so we can do the, you know, the back cameo, down back cameo, laser eyes, uh, dashing forward into our forward to one combo. So let's do the first half then, shall we? So back three and then just do what we just did. So we did both have, I don't want to make it sound easy, but there's only really two halves you have to master. Once you do so, just uh, put them together. So let's do it. All righty, okay. Ghostface has some really interesting combo challenges in Mortal Kombat 1 that I see, that I think are very, uh, of course, unoptimal, but they do teach you uh, some pretty interesting things for sure. With that being said, my dudes, hopefully you enjoyed this video. You found it either entertaining and or helpful. If you did one or both, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And let me know down below which of Ghostface's combo challenges did you find the most frustrating, the hardest, and or the most easy. Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more content. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat news, guides, reactions, and more.